Good morning guys, how are we all doing? I am Dan from Trading with Dan. This is our Bitcoin morning update. So if you guys wouldn't mind smashing that like button, we shall go straight over to those Bitcoin four hour charts. Yes, so Bitcoin on the four hour. Uh, as you can see, we've had this uh, pretty aggressive sell off. Um, however, if we do look at it in the context of the of the basically the channel the sideways range that we're trading in All we've done is basically uh, traded around the top side tap the top uh, Side and then come back down toward towards the bottom side. So uh, as it stands uh, We are still traveling sideways uh, within this formation. We obviously had this uh, potentially bullish uh, Descending channel that did uh, break to the upside uh, did come and tap the top of our range and we are now finding ourselves basically uh, back towards the bottom so uh, it is not it is not too bad uh, this price action as long as obviously as long as we hold uh, basically uh, around 46,000 um, so so realistically speaking uh, we do need to uh, do, do need to get a move on and turn back up from this level here I mean we could call it 48 and a half thousand get back above there um i think we could start to look good uh for it for a move back up um and then obviously fifty thousand dollars will be another important level to get back above um because ultimately we are gonna break out of this side of age range uh one way or the other either to the upside or the downside and if we want to break out to the upside we need to be uh we need to be nearer to the top don't we clearly uh and at the moment we're obviously nearer to the bottom which is not uh not obviously not obviously that much of a good sign um if we also want to have a quick look straight over here at, at the at the basically s p futures uh you can see these are looking very very good here um <laughs> obviously cash markets have not been open so anyone that wanted to sell any shares uh, and then put them into these depressed bitcoin prices has not been able to do so yet until i think till today obviously the cash market will open uh so there's a bit of a there's a bit of a hopium for you um so yeah but this is looking uh, this is looking pretty strong looking good here for a move i i, I would uh, say basically to our uh basically uh 49 4900 49, uh, and then why not why not get to 5000 why not a nice round 5000 why not get up there so uh we shall have to see what happens here um because if this is to continue on and upwards here I've, I've, we really can't we really can't uh, re expect bitcoin to break down while stocks are on like an absolute absolute uh flying flying moon mission even if we don't get to new bitcoin all-time highs you would have to expect we can at least break to the upside of this channel i mean the problem bitcoin's got is it has been in a downward trend since it, since its all-time high uh, so obviously uh reversing that trend uh, turning around that oil tanker is obviously a takes a bit of time and as you can see uh, we are taking a bit of time down here so uh, whilst stock markets remain as insanely bullish as they are uh, I do ultimately think we will uh, after after frustrating quite a few more quite a few people down here uh, maybe not frustrating them for much longer I think this may be the final aggressive frustration um, then yeah we can turn back around but we shall have to see but the main thing is we are just trading sideways within the channel as bitcoin likes to do for most of the time it likes to trade sideways within a range and then has an aggressive trending move either to the upside or the downside downside establishes a new range and then uh, trade sideways in in a said range um if you want to look at the ethereum satoshi pairing kind of hugging hugging these support lines i mean clearly not looking bullish here if bitcoin is to uh, get some aggressive moves uh, we would expect to test down into this is support um but i mean all we i mean what we can look at here as well we are we are sort of pinned between these two areas uh almost smack bang in the middle so but yeah we don't realistically uh, want to see a pull down in this but if bitcoin is going to make some aggressive moves we could potentially expect ethereum to struggle against uh, bitcoin but uh, we have seen uh, when Bitcoin has been making moves, Ethereum move faster, uh, particularly to the upside. So we shall have to see what happens there. Uh, the US uh, D pairing as well, uh, well below our our support level here. I mean, it was looking like an ascending, uh, obviously, channel. Uh, we drew the top half in rather than the bottom half. Uh, and yeah, we've broken down. So yeah, pretty much we've hit the targets of that. 
so hopefully, 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 we don't like to use that word, do we? But hopefully we can turn up from here. Uh, DSY uh, floundering around uh, in a sideways range. Uh, oil making, uh, look, just looking good here. Uh, if oil does get basically... Uh, well back above this 79 80 dollars level uh it is gonna look incredibly bullish uh heading towards a hundred dollar hundred dollar oil uh five thousand dollar uh s p and a hundred thousand dollar bitcoin is that is that what is programmed programmed into the system um we shall see uh let's have now just a look at those stochastics Four hour pretty beaten up here, but gonna turn back up from a low level. So, so can we hold this lower level of uh, of support? I mean, the four hour is gonna is gonna be on our side, uh, providing uh, we don't dive lower from right where we are now. So that is obviously a good sign. Ten hour and twelve hour diving here, so still down with momentum of those. Ten hour may may start to run out of that downward momentum at some point soon, but not quite yet. Uh, daily has turned down here. Buy daily moving up and looking good still. So we'll cling on to that one. Three day uh, turn up from a low level as well. Five day now getting pretty deep along with weekly. So I mean, these were the ones we've been talking about. If we can get these turning back up, five day and weekly turning back up from these low levels, I think that will be the next, uh, next nice move to the upside, weekly down and monthly down. That will be the nice move to the upside and um, and and it's not to say that move will get us uh, to new all-time highs but I think that move will at a very minimum I thought a very minimum I think we are gonna get up to about 58 59,000 that would be uh, that would be the major 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 sell level uh, for anybody that wants out they will potentially be waiting for that level uh, eat taking <laughs> taking their foot off the selling gas selling gas pedal uh, until we get up to here and this where we this is where we could see ma major distribution this is where this i think will be a uh, will be the the battle for this bull run will be fought around uh, this level and then it will be can we break above and and if we do break and hold above say it would i mean for the sake of how important it is we'd probably call it 60,000 it's a nice round number two uh, and then yeah 100k bitcoin most likely and if we can't if we start to get rejected if we start to come back down then um, I think um, some pretty aggressive selling could come in. Um, so yeah, that's kind of what I'm looking at here. Uh, again, light trading. Again, we've got New Year's thingy, but I am looking forward to markets getting back, getting back to normal again, and uh, well, life in general getting back to normal. To be honest, all these holidays and shops shut, and uh, it's all a bit of a pain. But yeah, well, it's not, it, I think it's a bit of a pain. You know, I'm sure other people um like uh don't mind it don't mind it so much but um but hey that that is what it is isn't it each to their own horses for courses um but yeah thanks for listening guys remember this is not a financial advice i'm not a financial advisor always do your own research and i shall speak to you guys soon